and cuts it. Could be four. Superb stroke. Beats a man at point. That's what was needed. That's a good hit. That's going to be four two. Here comes Fair Brother coming around. He won't get it. Yes, he does. Superb save. Two runs. Well, wow, great outfielding by Fair Brother there. He was desperate. Starting to rain as well. Everything's happening at the Sydney Cricket Ground. This is the last thing we need is rain. And uh, it's probably not going to help uh, bowlers. The last thing they want is a uh, slippery ball, the odd wide. They don't want to give uh, South Africa any extra deliveries. And also the outfielders uh, making throws, it'll be tough. No one hits a strike. Fair brother coming around. It's two more. Super over for South Africa. Ten runs off the over so far. It's staying to rain quite steadily here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And now the umpires are going to have a chat. And England are in front uh, at the moment. And they're coming off. The crowd are raw here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. It's certainly quite steady. A very difficult situation for the umpires. It's getting heavier by the second. The covers will come out. And this may be the end for South Africa in the second semi-final. On the scoreboard, it's gone up that South Africa need 22 to win from seven balls. I've been greeted by popular acclaim from the South African supporters. Right, well, it's uh, McMillan and Richardson coming out now. We're now led to believe it's just the one ball left to be bowled. And the scoreboard finally confirming what we've thought to be true for some time now. South Africa need 22 runs off this one ball. Somehow, I don't think that's possible. Now, it's a disappointing end to a great semi-final, but that's the rules. The umpires can only abide by the wars for the World Cup. Disappointed Mike Proctor and Peter Kirsten. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say, and the England supporters will be delighted. But the disappointing end to a wonderful semi-final. In comes Chris Lewis to buy the final delivery. It's pushed away to mid-wicket. You can see that all the players are disappointed with that end. The crowd will roar here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. So at the end, it's England and a disappointing finish to a wonderful match. Disappointed Brian McMillan, kept the vessels, the manager Ray Jordan there. The South Africans have played very well but at the end. The weather beat them and a very good defending performance also by England with the ball.